So we did a quick little introduction of Google Photos, but let's take a look a little, dive, uh, dive in a little deeper. Over here, you'll notice that you have Photos and Explore. Clicking on the Google Photos up here gets you right to the same thing as Photos. So no matter where you are, whenever you want to jump back to these items, just go ahead and click on Google Photos and it will take you right here. This is where you see a list of all your photos from most current to least current. You'll also notice if you pull over to the side on a PC, you will see a timeline that you can scroll down and jump right to a particular place in your photos. You can also just scroll down manually and look at them this way through the years or again you can click on the right. You can also use this handy search and look for something like birthday or birthday cake and it's going to show you any pictures that Google finds of a birthday cake. You don't need to put these tags in here. Google has already identified several tags on its own for you. I'm going to click this back arrow. So another way besides just photos we can go to explore. In Explore, this is where we can quickly get to anything that we've marked as a favorite, any animations, collages, movies, screenshots, selfies. Again, you don't need to mark these. Google will do that for you. If you can't see that, just scroll down here. Your motion photos, any scans, and 360 photos and videos. You can also look at the categories. And these categories were automatically created by Google based on your location services being turned on on your phone or your computer or your or your um, camera when you took the pictures. If there weren't location services on, it can identify the places that you took them, but it will still organize your pictures by things and perhaps events. For example, there's food and cooking, and I can click view all and find even more categories, parks and sunset and cars that Google has defined for me on tags. I can also mark some of these pictures or move them to other places. If I click on a picture, um, it will take me to that area and I'm going to click on an individual picture and notice that I could share that individual picture, I can edit it, I can zoom in, get some information or mark it as a favorite. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to show you that you can also select multiple of these pictures by hovering and clicking on the check mark in the upper left hand of each photo. And then I can click on the share here and share those multiple pictures with other people, either by putting their name in here, or I could create a link or I could post it instantly to Facebook. If I create a link, I would copy that link and paste it into an email or paste it to a website or paste it to Facebook or something like that. If I need, want to send it this way, I do need to have that person's name, email, or phone number in my Google account. Otherwise, I would send a link and open up email and paste it. I can also click on the plus sign and add this to an album. I can um, sh add it to a shared album. I could start an animation, a collage, or a movie based on the photos that I have selected. Notice I can also throw these away or I could order photos. I'm going to go back. So again, the two things we took a look at was the photos area where we just see from most current to least current and we have the timeline along the side. We can also use the search just to find a topic or a place or an event. And then the explore, that's where we can actually drill down, put check marks here and share these items with other people, put them in albums to organize them, order them, we could even print them out. We can also put a star in one of these by clicking on it and making it a favorite. And then when we go back and we look at Explore, we can scroll down in the Explore area and say, just show me everything that I've marked as a favorite or just show me my saved creations, my animations, collages, show me selfies. Hope that helped you get started with the Photos area and the Explore in Google Photos on a PC.